how do you do your annual plan? My process, one, brainstorm goals for the year. Number two, spread them to my monthly goals. Number three, create weekly goals, week one to week 52. And number four, I'll create a tracker. What tips do you suggest? I don't. I think if you have an annual goal, it's decent, but you're thinking small. You know, like already, the, the things that I've done in the past month, I wouldn't have said two months ago that I would be doing them. So there's, there's not necessarily anything wrong with having a plan. The problem is sticking to the plan when you should be doing something else. I think a lot of people with their annual goals, uh, you really should have jumped off six months ago, but you stay on it because you put it down at the beginning of the year, right? If you're growing, one year is not that bad, but if you're looking at a five-year goal, a 10-year goal, like there's no way, there's no way. Like Zan, five years ago, what were you doing? DJing still? Yeah, yeah. Even a year ago, I was still DJing. Okay, so a year ago, like five years ago, might have been Zan said, I'm going to be the world's greatest DJ. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to be the world's greatest DJ. I want to, I want to have a big company. I want to have lots of people under me. I want to do 30 events you know, a month. And like none of those are actually in service of what he wants. Maybe yeah. at that moment in time, it, it was a good reflection. But now it's not even close. And that's the that's the problem, you know. If you're growing, it, Man, I see it's so true. I wow. see it as a good thing. If you're growing and you're learning and you're getting better, then your goals will have to change. Like you can't think of where you're going to be in five years. Whatever you come up with is going to be too small, and it's not going to actually serve you. So it's not that it's bad. The problem is in sticking with that plan and not being willing to jump off when it doesn't serve you anymore. So. Mm. Uh, somewhere along the line, Zane might have had a goal to be the world's greatest DJ and have eight people working for him or whatever. And then in year three of that plan, he realizes, you know what? I'm not going to DJ at all anymore. <laughs> I'm going to go be a confidence coach. Right? And yes. A lot of people are too afraid to jump off and go do another path because they said, well, I set this goal for myself that here was where I was going to be. And I had my weekly plan and my monthly plan. I had it all broken down. Look, it's perfect. Yeah, it's perfect in the micro. The problem is you're not actually supposed to be doing that thing anymore. And so that's where I think a lot of people um, really hurt themselves uh, with long, long-term long forecasting. Again, one year, uh, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. Although, again, where I'm at in one year, like a lot of the stuff I'm doing right now, we're not in January, I would not have said, just a, look what's happened. COVID happened, guys. Uh, yeah, he already, he, I was about to say that. Go right? Ahead. Yeah. Wait, what's happened? <laughs> You think you had your perfect plan for the year, and then what happened? Yes. Everybody got got either screwed over or, or massively helped, depending on the industry that you're in, right? Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. And, and, and uh, I, okay. So, Edney, I know you got more to say. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna um, I'm gonna pick up where Evan picked off. I'm gonna pick up where Evan left off. Then I'm gonna read the rest of what you your next two big paragraphs okay but everything evan just said listen to him is so true um how can you how can you call it because if COVID 19 never happened i still would be djing and and i and i, I don't want to say that in a bad way because that was my career i knew one day i was stepping to my calling with coaching confidence coaching this is my calling and i'm going to be doing this for the rest of my life I mean, for the rest of my life, I'm going to be doing this. And, but I took my time moving into my calling because I was traveling around the world, working with everybody I want to work with. I don't care if it was celebrities or doing all the stuff here in Vegas or corporations. It was, it was a, it was a good, comfortable life. And I got comfortable and I didn't even feel like I got to jump into my calling right now because I was having so much fun. So if COVID-19 never happened, like planning out that whole year, I had so many events scheduled that I was supposed to be doing. I mean, right now it's December the 11th. If COVID never happened, I would be right now down at the win um, planning the New Year's Eve party with some celebrity. Cause we always plan it two or three weeks out before New Year's Eve. And COVID-19 happened. I was doing that for the last 10 years. I don't care if it was um, Katy Perry, Usher, um, Earth, Wind, and Fire, Beyonce. I mean, every year we bring in a new year with some celebrity and you have to plan everything out in advance. You have to have meetings on our yards. COVID-19 happened. That's not happening now. So, and now 
I'm where I'm supposed to be at. And I decided to let all that go because it's about my calling now. And so everything Evan says is, everything he says is right. I hear trips planned, you can't, you can't do anything now. So you can plan it out a year in advance or six months in advance. Mm. Anyways, I would just wanna, everything he said was just it, just, it just hit home for me. And I'm where I'm supposed to be at right now. And because of COVID-19, I was kind of, hey, you got to do this now. I was kind of pushed into it. And I can't, and for me, I couldn't do both because it requires so much dedication and commitment to be at the top of your field. You can't come over here and do this too. So, you know, just, you know, the transition was necessary. Hope that makes sense. Drew has a different perspective, which I, I like it. Um, he says, let's talk about goals. He says, go to, Got to review what you are doing every 90 days and see how things are going and then reassess. I think so. So here's the thing. Instead of one year, planning out one year or six months and then scaling back, he's saying do it for 90 days. Yeah. For three so months. the answer is yes. If you have poor self-awareness. If you have bad self-awareness and you don't know and you're always questioning yourself and, and you, you're making bad decisions and you just can't, you can't tap into your, yourself very well, then yes, put it in your schedule. Otherwise, yeah, I, as soon as um, you start to feel, for me, as soon as I feel like if this dream felt off, if I'm like, you know what? I don't know. I'm not feeling it anymore. You know what's going to happen? Tomorrow it's done. You make adjustments. I, like immediate adjustments. Not waiting for 90 days to happen. Listen, 90, 90 is better than a year. Uh, but I think it's great if you don't have good self-awareness. If you feel like you're always stuck and you don't know why and you don't know how to shift and you don't have the courage to do it, then sure, yes, go for it. I think it's great. But I think ultimately what's better is, is developing better self-awareness so that you can make faster adjustments. So yeah, I want to make sure he does, he's not getting the wrong impression. Oh, I just give you a chance to clear it up. You're not saying don't plan. You're saying just don't be just because you did plan. You don't have to be stuck in that. Like you don't have to be so rigid where you can't make adjustments. Yeah, it's like um, you know you're worried about you're worried about cutting your fingernails while your arm is falling off. Like focus on the right thing. Like we get locked into plans. Plans are good. You have to cut your fingernails. It's important. Right. But it's it's definitely not the only thing. And you have to be willing to shift when it doesn't feel right anymore. People stay in businesses for too long. People stay in relationships for too long. People mm -hmm. stay in, in <laughs> plans that don't serve them for too long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One, either because you don't have the self-awareness to know that, oh, I should be doing something else. Or two, they don't have the courage to jump off and say, you know what? I don't care if people judge me that I was having a successful DJ career and now I'm going to be a confidence coach. Right. Like yep. a lot of people would be too afraid to do that to say, well, yeah. I, I'm already I'm not 18 years old anymore. I need to have my path down. I need to know what I'm doing. Right. And th and then a lot of people don't follow through. So the plan is great. Mike Tyson had a great quote about the you, you have a plan. Everybody's got a plan. You know, the end of it. Hit. You know, the oh, end yeah, of yeah. They, they, yeah, everybody's got a plan until they get hit. No, until you get <laughs> punched in the face. <laughs> everybody's got a plan until you get punched in the face. And I think that's a great way to look at it, right? That's exactly how I look at it, to be honest, is, is you've got a plan of how you want to attack it. It's not just show up and hope good things happen. You've got a plan. But then you're dancing with whatever happens. You're dancing with the punches to the face that are going to come. COVID-19. <laughs> COVID-19. Right? Yep, the pandemic. That's what I got. And, and I was being very honest and transparent because if COVID-19 did not happen, I was I was having fun, <laughs> but I knew one day I would have to make the transition, and and fortunate for me, well you know what that's not even that's not even one thousand percent true because uh, when uh, Evan Pagan when he presented me with the virtual coach um, certification that was back in that was before COVID that was back in September of October of last year and I took it in November. So I knew I was gonna go ahead and, and, and kind of exit and make my transition. But when COVID-19 did happen, that's when I didn't have that. The commitments, the, I could get out of the contracts basically. Cause I had contracts, I had already signed six months in advance. 
So when COVID-19 happened, okay. And now I, I'm getting some calls to go back. I don't know. I, I, I've decided I'm going to move on. And, but, you know, you still get calls or get, get emails. And I'm like, nah, I'm, 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 I'm done with DJ and I'm 100%, you know, coaching. <laughs> and I've had some friends who was in DJ industry think I'm crazy. But, hey, you know, you got to move on. People commit too much to the time they put in something, too. They, they don't want to leave because they think they already put in so much time. They think it's a waste just leaving. Okay. So why he basically you're saying, you're, is, tell me it's not what you're saying. So if you're, if you're driving in one direction and you want to get to your goal or get to your destination and you've been driving for, it's, it's supposed to be a five day trip and you've been driving for two and a half days and you find out that you're going the wrong direction. And you already invested two and a half days in that trip. You mean you're not gonna turn around and go the right direction? If you are involved with someone, as far as a relationship is concerned, and in the beginning, he or she is not what you, you thought they was one way, and then later, two months, three months later, you find out they're not who they made themselves out to be, you're gonna stay in that relationship because you invested so much time and energy and money for the last three months? Come on. Sometimes when you get more information or you get more insight, you got to make a change. You got to make an adjustment. You don't, stubborn, you, don't, you don't stay stubborn and continue down a path that's not good for you in the long run. So that's what he was trying to say, Evan, that the reason why people stay is because they invest in so much time and energy and resources, so it's, they don't want to leave. That's not good. Uh, it's fear. Yeah. So it's think... it's uh, it's sunk sunk opportunity, right? I mean, sunk 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 costs. It's what it is. You put it in. Does, so so what? It's like what yeah. do you got right now? So you invested a lot into into gear, into education, into whatever. So now you're gonna ruin the rest of your life because you put that time and money in. No, you could you could be in a totally different spot one year from today if you just change your course and change your path. Should Zane stop doing, de uh, keep doing DJing because he bought all this gear and turntables and headphones and now he can't even find headphones. Look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> now he can't even find them. He's probably got all these expensive headsets lying around somewhere and now he can't even find them when he needs them. That's, that's the how garage. like, that's how checked out of DJ land Zane already is. Yeah, I, right? Yeah. That's how checked totally. out he is. And that's that's great. And and the longer you live that life and stay that path, just because you invested into it, um, you're you're just setting yourself up for losses. And it's only going to get worse. You're going to like it less in a year, and even less in the next year, and even less the next year. And now you've just lost three years of your time, slowly hating your life instead of actually chasing down something that can make it special. Okay. So here is the framework I'm working with. Set the vision three to five years out. Use that to make plans for the year and the approach that you have to get to the three to five year, then every 90 days. Here's what I would do. Like you're spending so much time thinking, that's so much time planning and thinking and overanalyzing and 95% of what you write down will not happen. That's awesome. Have a mission. Instead of a five year goal, have a mission, like something so big, something so huge that you're never going to accomplish it and you wake up every day trying to accomplish it and then back it down to what you're doing right now. It, it'll serve you better. Because if you're growing and you're actually chasing down that big dream, there's going to be so many things that change. Even in Zen doing this confidence coaching thing, did he anticipate that three months in or six months in, he's going to get a call from Evan Carmichael to say, hey, do you want to host a daily show with me on my... No. Right? No. Of course not. So now what? Now, now all of a sudden he's got a plan, time in his calendar to make this happen. That wasn't part of his plan. He didn't actively go out and seek that out. And yet it's a great opportunity for him. And so he said, yes. Right. That's what I'm talking about. As he keeps growing, he keeps getting better. More opportunities will come to him as well, just like you. And your life should look dramatically different 90 days from today. Your life should be dramatically different 90 days from today if you're growing, if you're learning, if you're pushing. So mission, what you're trying to, I want to solve the world's biggest problem. People don't believe in themselves enough. Zan's on a similar mission. He wants to have, he wants everybody in the world to have more confidence. He's never going to do it. It's never going to happen. There will always be people that he will never reach. And yet he wakes up every day trying to reach those people. Yep. So how you go out and execute your plan will change a million times over the course of your life. 
don't trap yourself or box yourself in to say that I have to do it this way. 